Now's a good time to talk about some other kind of general test strategies when it comes to the science section of the ACT. Really, the most important thing you need to do is you have to understand cause and effect. So you have to be able to answer the question. You have to look at one of these and answer the question, what causes what? If you can answer that, you pretty much have this down. If you can answer it, but it takes you a while, you need to get quicker at it. And if you can't answer it, you need to keep practicing these. Now, while you should skip between questions within a passage, because as you answer each question, it will help you. Learning the answer to one question will actually help you maybe answer another question. You don't want to skip between passages. So before you're done any given passage, guess any that you don't know because there's no penalty for guessing. And as you might imagine, if you jump around between three different passages, you're going to forget which one you looked at. Wait, was that pH or was that CO2 or whatever? As I mentioned prior, you still have to know some science and you, and you have to memorize some things and you, and you have to understand how science works. But generally, it's kind of a reading test. It sounds a little bit more confusing than it is to call it an ACT science. It's about understanding the science that they give you to read because the passage stays available while you're looking through the questions. Now, let the questions themselves lead you through the passage. So often a question will say like, in figure one, you don't have to then start reading the beginning and like, oh, I got to read the whole thing. It tells you in figure one. So just look at figure one. And you can use the answer choices to lead you to what you're looking for. So if the options are like way high and they seem way high or way lower, kind of off the chart, you can eliminate them. Process of elimination here is your friend. It's only four possible choices. So if you can eliminate one or two, you can increase your chances of guessing correctly quite significantly.